<clears throat> Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Southern California Seismic Data video. Today, this, this is the second video of the day. We have a 4.5 to strike on the Nevada side of the California-Nevada border, near Indian, in Indian Hills, Nevada. So there's 22, not 21,000, 2,147 felt reports. And let's pull this up on Google Earth. Oh, there goes the globe. Close that real quickly. Uh, let's see what fault it occurred on. Wait, wait a minute. Oh wait, yeah, that's right. Never mind. Uh, this occurred on the New Empire Fault Zone. Never heard of that one. But it's just occurred just outside of Carson City. And let's see how far this was from our seismometers. Wow, almost exactly 400 miles away. So, what's strange is that I don't usually see large quakes around here. Usually just 2.0 or something like that. And, uh, I'm gonna pull it up on Raspberry Shake because we haven't had large readings here. It's been also very slow. So you can see here, these jolts like this. This is the P wave. Starts rolling in really slowly. And then, right here, the S wave starts to hit. Which is even larger jolts. It starts to fade away like that. S wave here you can see on the spectrogram. Oh, it appears on the bottom because it's far away. And then... Sorry, P wave here in the bottom, and then the S wave here. Pretty decent shaking because it starts getting a dark color around here, here, and here. And it was right here. Okay, but on the Infotech, on the other hand, had really big readings. Mammoth went completely black like that because it's not too far from Carson City. Uh, Camarillo as well, which usually doesn't have large readings because it's. I'm assuming this seismometer is in the middle of the city. That's why it's like that instead of flat. And then ours as well. I'm assuming this is the P wave and that is the S wave. And yeah. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll see you again in the next video.